Hey YouTube, what's up, what's happening? I'm running to you with a new angel deck profile since I just finally decided to build uh, a rescue deck and it's really, really fun. So um, yeah, let's get started. I'm running the uh, rescue starter Black Report Ridwan, which is Forerunner and GB1 mover into the soul. Whenever a card is put into drop from damage, so counting heal triggers, not just rescue abilities, you can move it into the soul, choose a rear guard and it gains 4k. Then, if the card you healed was healed due to the rescue ability, you can call that card to the rear guard. So it's a nice card, it gives you the 4k, it gives you a new card, so you can heal like... You can rescue a heal trigger or a stand trigger and just call it and use its ability, so it's a really nice starter. Um, I like it. It's a good card. Then, we're running four of the obvious Black Shiver Govrail, who is the main grade 3 of the deck. You should probably know what she does by now, GB2, whenever a card's put in damage zone, plus 2k to the front row, and on stride, counter bus 1, check top 3, move a card to damage, call a card from damage. It's a really great card, it's potentially one of the best GB2s out there, because it's defensive and offensive possess um, potential, so I run her at 4, because she's the main card. Next, I'm running two copies of Retractor Serachial. I'm running it as um, an alternative ride, because her Vanguard ability is pretty solid. It's um, her Vanguard ability is GB1. Whenever a card is put onto Rear Guard or Guardian Circle, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, Rescue 1. So this works offensively, so you call cards and hopefully see a trigger, or defensively, um, whenever you guard, Rescue check, hopefully you can give triggers to your Vanguard to, for better defensive plays, because if you're not on Gavrail, your defensive plays will be a bit lacking, but Serachial's potential Rescue check helps make it a lot stronger. And on ride, kind of us one, soul blast one, check top five for a rescue card. I never use that ability because my main deck actually doesn't run a lot of rescue. It's primarily just cards that benefit off rescue. You'll see what I mean a little later. My other grade three is two copies of Requiem Pegasus, which while it contradicts what I just said, just trust me later on, it's Vanguard or Rear Guard, GB1, on hit, give a card, I'll give a Rear Guard 2k and then rescue one. So, Gives you another trigger check. Uh, it's an unflip. I like it. It's a nice rear guard. Um, grade twos. Running two copies of four copies of Black Slice Harut, which is the Amber Clone. So on boost, counter bust one, check top two, move a card to damage, call a card from damage. I like her, um, her over um, uh, the. Uh, Steam Breath clone, which is Zabania, because Harut ironically chains better with um, Grade 4 Gavrail, and I'll get into why a little bit later. But I just I don't like Zabania as much just because um, it's a, a bit less cons uh, consistent, even though it has a potential rescue check. But I just like Harut because it's more consistent and just makes um, what I think to be better combos. Then I'm running four copies of obviously Nurse of Broken Heart. Whenever a card's put into damage, her and her your Vanguard gain 2k. So if you're on Gavrail, plus 4k each time a card's put in damage zone. And if you're on Serachial, um, 2k at least if you don't get a trigger. Because her, because uh, um, Serachial. This rescue ability actually triggers Broken Heart, so even if you're not on golf, really, you can still benefit off Broken Heart. So, and, and, uh, she, Broken Heart's great because it gives you power plays, and again, Serachial benefits. That's why I like Serachial. And lastly, for my grade two, I'm running three copies of Laser Clutcher uh, Cal, which is GB1. Whenever she is put into a uh, drop from damage, so also counting heals, you can call her. So if you, even if you get a heal trigger or use Raphael, you get a free unit. But if you call her from the rescue ability, she gets 3k. And I'm not running the grade 2 equivalent of Pegasus, which is on hit rescue 1, because I like uh, Cal more, because it makes multi-attack plays... Um, it's numbers okay, the 12k base, it can make pretty solid columns, and I, just, I like the multi-attack, and I just think it works better than um, the on-hit. Uh, grade 1's, still only running, I'm still running 4 copies of the original PG. Um, I'm not running the rescue PG, because honestly, it's so inconsistent. If you don't know what the rescue PG does, it's, when you perfect guard, 
if you have a copy of her in the damage zone, not drop zone like every other GPG, you need another PG in the damage zone. If you have it in the damage zone, counter blast one, rescue one. Now, I don't like it just because it's inconsistent because you need to see it in the damage zone, but I also don't like it because the, in when you rescue multiple times, um, you're gonna, you don't want to heal this because you're going to be losing the target for the PG's ability. And so that effectively locks out a card from your damage zone as a rescue target. Because usually you're just going to be like, oh, non-trigger, I, I might want to heal it because I want to use stuff to put uh, triggers back in the damage zone. Which is just not the case because it just locks you out of a rescue, uh, rescuable target. So I just don't like the rescue PG. Also... G deck profile for stride fodder. Come on, guys. This is the third time. And um, next, I'm running four copies of Drill Motor Nurse, who is the grade one equivalent of Laser Clutcher Kel. So, whenever it's healed, call it. And if it's uh, called by rescue, when it's healed by 3k, healed by rescue, give it 3k. Again, multi attack. It's a nice booster if I ever lose one. Like, um, if I'm playing against Overlord and they use Defeat Flare, it gives me a back row back. Um, it lets me realign a column if I get a stand trigger by calling it behind. I like Grit 4. And um, two copies of Battle Cupid Nokiel. This deck doesn't do a lot of hand swapping, so Nokiel helps do the hand swapping. Like if I see a copy of Drill Motor or Clutcher in my hand, I can use Nokiel to put them in there. And yeah, I just I still like No Kill too because again, it's No Kill. You play Angel, you should know why you like No Kill. If you noticed, I'm not running um, the Thousand Ray and Million Ray because this um, those are for a power build, like if, for ramming up numbers. But that's not what this build is. So I, I tried to make it a bit more rescue heavy, and I like it. I think it's a very fun deck. Next, this pains me to say. I really wish I didn't have to say this. I'm running one copy of Doctroid Refros. Just a moment of silence for all the fallen refrigerators out there. Okay, so if you don't know what Refros does, it's GB1, Counter Blast 1, put it into the deck. Pick two, up to two cards from damage zone, put them into the deck. Two, shuffle, put two cards from the top deck into the damage zone, draw one. You see, this card, there's a reason why this is banned first off. It's banned because it, um, it makes, well, the main reason it's banned is because it has an infinite loop. If your deck is thin enough and you still have four Refroses, you can literally do this ad infinitum and win a game by timeout in tournaments. That's the real reason why Refros is banned. But at the same time, it makes amazing power plays. Like if you're running the power build with thousand mil, thousand ray, million ray, broken heart, and Gavrail, Refros can ram up their power because each Refros yields two stages. So that's four k for all of them. Eight k if you have a thousand, if you have uh, one of them in the front row and Gavrail. So it's an amazing card. It's limited. I hate it. I hate it. And that's part of why I'm moving a little away from the power build. Because Refros is only at one, running a power build is um, less viable. But Refros is still an amazing card. Run as many of it as you can because it helps you reset stuff. Like, if you see cards you don't want in your damage zone, like Nokiels, put them back in there. If you see triggers you want to re-trigger, put them in there. Running it no matter how small is important, because Refros is honestly one of the best cards in the game. Refros is phenomenal. Um, next, I'm still running four stands though, the last three in the form of Surgery Angel, the Rescue Stand, who is another actually really good card. It's after it boosts, so boost, Counter Blast one, shuffle it into the deck, Rescue one. So, you know, it, it, it lets you put a trigger back, it lets you potentially see a trigger through rescue. My One of my favorite things that I have done, which I've done multiple times, is I've had a column of like this. So this attacks first, uses its ability, rescue, rescue into a critical trigger. So my Vanguard is gaining plus an extra critical before it attacks. So while it takes a little bit of luck because it's relying on the triggers, that's what this game is. So it's the embodiment of the game because it's all about the triggers. But I like this card at three. It's a really nice card. It makes nice rescue plays. It puts the stand in, 
which is actually important because uh, re-standing stuff is actually really nice with rescue build, so I like it at three. Surge Angel's a great card. Um, next, running four copies of Sunny Smile Angel, which is Lozenge Magus. Should be obvious why it's a heal that puts itself back in the deck, lets you re-trigger it if you have the superior call it. Four heals because G Guardians, I don't need to say more. Then four copies of Black Spark Munker, which is um, the Heart Thump clone. So when your Gavrail Vanguard attacks, move her into the soul. Uh, give the Vanguard 5k, draw one. Good card trigger with the skill. Then four copies of Critical Hit Angel, which is moving into the soul, give a card 3k. I like it because it's, again, another trigger with the skill. So if you have to call it, it's not awful. And it feeds the soul if you have to ride Sorakiel, Sicariel, I'm sorry. So, yeah. And that's the main deck. Now we're going to move on to the extra deck, or G-Zone, I apologize. I'm getting slowly back into Yu-Gi-Oh, so. One copy of Holy Serve uh, Zakariel, which is Counterblast 1, flip a face down G unit face up. If you have a face up card in your G-Zone, your front row rear guards gain 3k, and if you have 5 damage, she gains 10k. You're running her be um, for instant GB2 for Gavrail because honestly it's better than Blizza because the 5k on Blizza doesn't mean anything because first stride with no on hit your opponent's probably going to take it so this one boosts up your rear guards making them harder to block which is pretty nice it's instant GB2 for um, Gavrail uh, running one copy of Holy Seraph Uriel which is on hit check top 3 move a card from them to damage call a card from damage shuffle and the card called gains 2k. I'm running her because if I miss ride and can't ride Gavrail, um, she's a good first stride because I, I, because if you're not on Gavrail, Zakariel's G, uh, instant GB2 doesn't mean a whole lot. And um, Uriel gives you feel because you can't really build up a field as fast thanks to Gavrail's stride skill. So doing this gives you, helps you potentially get that feel back. So running it at one is still nice. And it's not taken out by Nokiel because I'm not running it in the specific build. Though I still have the Nokiel stuff. I'll probably do a deck profile when BTO9 comes out. Because BTO9 is getting Angels and hopefully they have Nokiel stuff because I like Nokiel. But this is just different. Um, still running one copy of Holy Star of Raziel, which is the damage reset engine on stride. Soul Blast 2. Soul Blast 2, take all cards from damage and move them into the deck. And then... Um, for every card put into damage this way, put cards from deck into damage. So basically, it unflip. So it unflips all. We're gonna we're gonna pause this. So we'll just cut this part out so we can get rid of this brat. Holy Seraph Razia. What it does is on stride, Soul Blast two. Take all cards from damage, move them into your deck. And for every card moved this way, move the top card of your deck into damage zone. Um, you do this because. In the times where you have Broken Heart, it's a nice power play there. Um, it lets you put, uh, hopefully keep triggers back in your deck if your damage zone is filled with them. You don't really want to rescue them. And it also, if you if you have a lot of counter blasts used, it lets you refresh all of them, which is really nice if you just for whatever reason can't really rescue and you need some unflips. So it's a nice card. It still works, so I like it. Also, there really aren't a whole lot more Angel strides out there that are good at one ofs because you can't run no kill because no no kill. You can't run the celestial one because no celestials, but whatever. Then main stride for uh, Black Seraph Gavriel, which is an amazing, amazing card. Counterblast one G flip. Um, it gains two abilities. The first ability is whenever a card is put into damage zone during the battle phase. This unit gains, um, you pick two cards, those cards gain 2k. This ability is why I run Harut over Zabania, because, um, Zabania is on call, so if you're calling it from hand during the main phase or with Gavriel's strad skill, you can't trigger the plus two from grade four Gavriel. However, Harut, because it's on boost, you can, so you can call a card and give the 2k's from there. So that's why I like to run Harut over Zabania. And... The second ability is after it attacks, rescue two. So, auto trigger the first ability plus two. With her root, you can give plus 12k in total. So, her at four is great. The rescue is nice. Um, works well with the deck. Yeah, really good card. 
Uh, next, four copies of Holy Star of Raphael, which is G-Flip, GB2 G-Flip Heal. Which, like, again, as I said before, not really many angels, there's really very few angel strides, and this one's just amazing, because if you get rushed, you get to heal a card, guys, come on. Spent three videos explaining this to you. Um, next, onto the G-Guards. I'm running two Holy Seraph Surreal, which is when you guard with her Counterblast 1, check the top card of your deck, rescue one. Check, no, check the top card, keep it there, or move to the bottom, then rescue one. So, really great G-Guard, because it triggers Govrail's GB2, it double triggers um, Serachial, because double rescue, because you're putting a card into the uh, guard circle for Sicario and her own ability, so double rescue there. Really, really nice card. Um, next, I'm running two copies of Dark Element Dismal, which is when you G-Guard with it, pick a rear guard. Um, it can't be hit for the turn, so it's permanently perfect guarded, and that same rear guard is unaffected by all of your opponent's card effects. So, um, if your opponent is, is um, has like an on hits retire something, you can protect that so that it can't be targeted by that. The downside to that, though, is if you're playing Diablo, uh, you can, if, and you pick a card, you can't pick that card as a retire target because it's still technically your opponent's effect. But this was a great card. Um, thanks to um, stuff like Broken Heart, you have key rear guards you want to keep, so keeping them there is nice. And the last card in the deck is Air Element Sea Breeze, which is your anti grade lock um, card, anti grade 2 game. So if you have a grade 3 Vanguard and your opponent didn't ride, Counterblast 2 flip, Counterblast 2 discard a card you can stride to anyways. So it's a great card, anti grade 2 game. It's uh, your flip target for Zakario. It's your a G assist target if you need it. Um, so yeah, that's my pseudo rescue deck. If you noticed, I'm not running a lot of the main deck rescues. Like, I'm not running, as I said before, the grade 2 on it. I'm not running Zombania. I'm not running the grade 1 because the grade 1, I just don't really like it. If you don't know what the grade 1 does, it's black something Moloch. It's if the, during the turn it's called from damage zone, so not regular called or not called from damage zone. Keep this ability permanently. It's just the turn it's called from damage zone. It gains after it boosts rescue one, and I just don't like that because it's not reusable. So it's just kind of stuck there, and I just I prefer um, drill motors superior calling over that, and it just eh. Um, if I didn't have no keel, so if you don't have no keels and you're trying to build like um, a rescue deck, I'd recommend two of her over no keel or two of the grade one. Uh, I forget her name. It's a grade one 5k. Whenever a card is put from damage to drop, so rescue or healing, soul blast one, draw one. So that's an, that or Moloch are your alternatives if you don't have no keel. But yeah, I. That's just to make, help make it more budget friendly, but yeah, that's um, that's just it. I like this. This deck fits my personal preference. There's a bit of changes you can make to it if you're not, but if you um, if you like the deck, leave a like, leave a uh, comment. Uh, hopefully, this profile helped you figure out how to build Angel Feather or Rescue if you had trouble with it. Um, yeah, that about wraps it up. So keep it real.